The tributes have been uh, pouring in for AKA Keenan Forbes throughout the weekend, but there's one that caught my eye that uh, Tebe Kalifeng did on his Instagram. He says, and it's pretty long, so stay with me. He says, I've been trying to make sense of the senseless killing of Keenan, AKA Forbes, and his best friends, Debelo Tibbs Mutswane. I've been trying to make sense of what type of society raises a certain zoo with such little disregard for life. I've been trying to make sense of what type of country we've become where this loss, like that of many others, is tolerated without much, if any, consequences. I've been trying to wrap my head around what Lynn and Tony and the parents of Tibbs are going through right now, having to bury their children who had so much life ahead. I've been trying to make sense of the many unnamed South Africans who don't make the headlines, whose lives are taken ruthlessly and prematurely every minute. I've been trying to make sense of how the country we imagined during the struggle for our freedom, for which many sacrificed and stood for hours in 1994 to cast a vote for a different, safe and better future, has become the most dangerous place to call home. Mm. I've been trying to imagine when it will all be safe to wake up from the violent nightmare that has become everyday South Africa. I've been wondering if those we put in position to protect and care about us, if they too do not have any children, friends and family in harm's way, if they will only wake up to their responsibility when it happens to their own, if they have any humanity, if they can slow down and step out of their motorcades, turn off their blue lights and look out to make sure we too feel safe in our homes and streets. It's too much, it's too often, it's too easy. It's unacceptable. It is the reality of the new South Africa that we didn't sign up for and which we shouldn't accept. We shouldn't accept that AKA and Tibbs will likely be just another statistic. In our helpless state, we ask his almighty to cover the Forbes and the Motswane families in his safe embrace to welcome their sons to a place where they will never need security, high walls, panic buttons, nor alarms to feel safe. A place that knows no harm nor hurt. To pray to ease the pain and loss, however impossible for the Forbes, Motswane and the many nameless victims of South Africa's wrath on its own citizens. R.I.P. Tibbs, R.I.P. A.K.A. It is not well.